Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. Some major development today for a first look at Shazam! On set, this is DC's version of Captain Marvel. Zachary Levi's been teasing himself in the robe, teasing his hair being done, and finally, someone finally got a shot of him wearing the suit finally after even David Seth Sandberg has said, we are shooting in broad daylight. He is surprised. No one has else. Uh, no one has took a shot of that yet. Well, someone you jinxed it because a mere a day or two later, boom, someone got a shot of it, and there it is. You know, for a first look, I got to agree with Dave at Film Junkie where he said it reminds him of uh, Turbo Man. Arnold Schwarzenegger's Turbo Man in that, I forgot what you call it, uh, Jingle All the Way uh, Christmas movie. And I got to say, with the Christmas thing in the background, his bright red suit, I, I had to laugh. I'm like, I thought the same exact same things. He just beat me to the punch and said it out loud. Um, I got to agree with him. It does remind me of that, but it's okay. I think it's going to be okay because if this is anything like a child's movie, this is more a children's movie or a family type ordeal superhero than bright colors with the Christmas theme going on in the background. We don't know what the context of this and why he's standing there amidst all that, but um, it makes sense to have him be like that in that sense. And for, I think, for diehard comic book fans, like my friends who actually got to talk to, uh, and he tweeted this out, or he sent this out to his uh, uh, his our other friends just to get their reactions on it, and they were pretty happy with the look. Now, one of my friends who was a huge diehard Captain Marvel fan or Shazam fan, uh, he even to this day says, his name is not Shazam, his name is Captain Marvel. He's really diehard. He does not like the hood. He despises the hood, and that cape is just way too long. So he's very old-fashioned, old-school in that way. But then again, he has these issues with everything um, from X-Men to the Marvel Universe. He's just a die hard comic book fan just like my other friends so they always have things to pick from every little detail down to a bolt on the boot is is always critiqued and uh god bless them because it, it really opens my mind up to what they actually expect what people actually expect what their expectations and what the general audience sees and everything everybody in between like myself so um i appreciate their outlook on it and it's so cool they we're cordial friends that we can disagree and agree on certain things, but we can still have fun and, and, and talk to each other and discuss with each other um, relatively innocently. So that's cool in itself. But uh, I'm, I see where all the uh, the talk, the negativity is coming from, especially after people who are accustomed to the costume designs from Michael Wilkinson's uh, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, uh, Wonder Woman. You know, um, that had a level of detail to it. It just had a character to the suits, and it's just more modern way in filmmaking in in, in terms of that sense. And we got spoiled yeah you know like just bell races we got spoiled by michael wilkinson designs and the way he thinks of it now this is just a behind the scene shot in a terrible lighting not any no post effects nothing like that we can't even get a clear shot of it so we don't really know what the detail is right now people are like spandex but i mean even from a far away man of steel you can't see the level of detail in in the suit itself so we don't know how far this guy was trying to get a shot of shazam he could be farther away as, as uh, than we could pro we can actually tell from this photograph so i gotta say I'm I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna see what the the official reveal is, and hopefully it's really soon. As um, David Samberg said, it's right around the corner. Once we get they leak a, a, a photograph out, it's not too long after they're gonna have to release the official photo, and I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see his front. I can't wait to see that bolt of lightning here. Um, there are some instances where the person who actually took that photo and other people who were at the site, like Daniel Elisen, I think that's the name. 
as she said there's something on top of the bolt so it'll look will probably look really cool in post effect so um but and so towards it looks like it's his muscle we know he's been working out um uh, other people like umberto gonzalez who claims it's padded armor uh i don't know you can't tell like from i said i can't tell from this far away um i'm wondering if it's not actually spandex it's not the type of material maybe it's more the type of material uh used in a man of steel used in even superman returns i mean even superman returns wasn't just spandex it actually had like some kind of um curved material you know it was kind of like the the spider-man suit or even michael wilkinson suits uh they had a lot of detail there's like s's all over the superman return suit which is kind of like overkill in a sense i mean it looked it it is more reasoning in michael wilkinson to have that kryptonian thing on it instead of just a bunch of s's but i don't know what this suit is that the same thing that that armor type padded thing going on um not padded armor like but you can it it what what it does is it just um um when he flexes it actually shows his muscle a little bit more it puts more depth in the shadows within the cur you know within the creases um kind of like what they did with spider-man um back in the day with sam raimi as well and i i, I yeah sam raimi spider-man not the spider-man homecoming which i think is is not as good as the spider-man suits they had before in the sam raimi or even andrew garfield's uh suits I mean, just looking at this, it just screams Shazam. You know it's Shazam. You know that's Billy Batson. You know that's Captain Marvel. Just one glance at it, you can see right away that that is its character. Well, that type of very uh, accuracy would work in uh, in a film. We'll have to see. I want to see it in action. I want to see him in full motion. Uh, I want to see it in post effects uh, with, with all the uh, post done to it. I want to see all that in order to, you know see it in a trailer you know once you see it in a trailer i think all of our grievances may be gone um so i'm giving it a chance on that um it looks a hell of a lot better than uh captain marvel over the marvel side anyway that looked like a motorcycle jumpsuit um i can't wait to see her in the red and blue a little bit more tight fitting like uh that picture they showed at um was it san diego comic con that looked terrific of the captain marvel brie larson captain marvel um so i'm thinking that was just a first suit and so i give it a pass but you know I, i'm surprised they haven't done an official reveal on that it had the behind the scenes shot has come out so many times and it has been critiqued and has been fan edited to death um this one is more accurate to the comics actually the colors are there the look is right there um so I just want to see what that official reveal is. Um, but getting on to the point of this reveal is that there were some media sites like such as Collider, our friends and family over at Collider, who tweeted this out. Shazam, here's your first unofficial shitty look at Zachary Levi in costume. Yeah. Now that was uh, when it first came out. It has long since been deleted. The post actually also been deleted. Uh, the article link has been deleted and replaced with what we see now. And that is Shazam. Here's your first unofficial look at Zachary Levi in costume. Taking out that swear word. And what I believe in that. When I, see, when I first saw that first one where it had that swear word in it. I thought this is the most unprofessional thing uh, a news site such as Collider could ever done you know imagine the rap or someone doing that right it's so unprofessional to say that and yes it the the context may not even be about the costume the context may be about the quality of the photo but you could have just said amateur look at zachary levi uh unofficial why even put that in there you didn't do it for captain marvel brie larson for captain marvel brie larson you said brie larson's captain marvel revealed in first set photos you know why add the swear word there um what are you trying to imply you know 
it's it's very weird and they know that it was wrong because they did take down the tweet they did take down that article title and change the article title to what it is now but someone already took a shot of that <laughs> picture so very disappointing for an actual company and muse media site such as collider uh, to do that kind of thing and um, I'm glad they were able to alleviate that and actually fix it later on but we all know what you really meant so anyway what did you guys think about the unofficial Shazam reveal do you like the costume do you not like the costume what would you have preferred I mean there were some fan art out there like the the Trini and boss logic I think had some great great looking designs um, but or, or are you gonna give it a chance we can't see him full front and center uh, some people even say this is just a first suit or something so I don't know uh, I think it is the real suit it's just terrible lighted um, and it's in the broad daylight and I think there's gonna be a lot more texture to that than what more than meets the eye right now so I I want to see the official reveal and I want to see him in a trailer in a teaser actually doing things with motion flying doing the Shazam you know something so that it, it you know it make a lot more it look a lot more like the finished product than a behind the scenes shoot which almost looks never that great although even you know Superman and Wonder Woman and Batman look still look pretty awesome in the behind the scenes uh, pictures as well it could be just a camera could be just a camera all right guys thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time